Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a remote user VPN in Unify so that you will be able to gain access to your network even if you're outside. Now, if you've been following this channel, you know that I've already created a video about this exact same topic just a few months ago, but since then a few things have changed, the Unify controller interface has changed, so I decided to, up, to create an updated version of this topic. But keep in mind, the previous video I did is still super relevant today because on that video I'm not just showing how to create the VPN settings but also how to create firewall rules to manage the traffic of VPN users because by default VPN users will gain access upon connecting to your entire network. If you have several VLANs, they will get access to all of your VLANs. So definitely watch this video to understand how to create the VPN related settings but then watch the second portion of the earlier video and I will put a link to it in the top right corner to understand how I recommend managing firewall rules for the VPN users. So without further ado, let's go over to the computer and start setting things up. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer. And this is going to be a fairly short video, but and I am going to cut it into several segments. The first segment will be actually practically creating the VPN on the uh, UDM or Unify device. The second segment will be creating the VPN connection on an endpoint. In this case, it will be a Windows 10 virtual machine. The server and the virtual machine are located physically on different cities. They are not on the same network. And Definitely keep watching towards the end of the video and, and the, the, the entire video because it's becoming more and more common today, especially with fiber ISP connections, that even if your ISP gives you a public IP address you can access from the outside, you are still netted into their internal network. And Windows, when it identifies it's trying to connect to a netted server, it refuses to do it. So if this is the case for you, if you followed along the video perfectly and you're still not able to connect, then this will, might be relevant for you. We will need to do a little registry tweak on your Windows device that will tell Windows it's okay to go ahead and connect, even if you think that the server is netted. I know that this is the case, at least for me, and it might be also the case for you. So. Before we dive right in, what, what are we trying to achieve here? Uh, I'm, in my, on my screen you can see a, a Unify a knowledge base article that uh, actually I will give a link to it in the description of the video. And this is exactly what we are trying to do. We have a, 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 a remote computer and we will be creating a sort of a tunnel that connects the device from the outside directly into uh, the internal network. If you're using port forwarding today to access internal network internal resources on your network stop doing that port forwarding is not secure use a vpn instead all right so let's dive right in and start configuring stuff this is a udm i have deployed this is a real live not a demo a real live udm i have gotten permission to demo on i am on controller version 7.0.25 by the way if we go into the vpn tab where we'll do our settings, you will see that currently today we only have L2TP protocol support on UDM and we are in the near future, I'm filming this video on April 2022 and we are about to receive a new version of the Unify controller with Teleport VPN and I will do a separate video about that. So, in order to configure the VPN on your Unify device, go into the VPN tab and enable VPN right here. Now, create a pre-shared key. I'm going to create a simple one. You should definitely create a very complex one. It's very important that you don't skip out on this, uh, on this step. Do a very complex pre-shared key. All right, so next step is to create a user account to connect uh, to the VPN. Let's create one and I will name mine VPN and I will give it a password, create a user. One thing I'm also going to do, by the way, it's fine if you just click apply changes and start connecting. I am going to do one more thing. I'm going to switch this to manual 
and I do want to require strong authentication just as a, let's say, a, a little crank up in security. That's everything I'm going to uh, configure on the Unify side of things. One more thing that I want to uh, uh, recommend that you verify is going to system, sorry, into profiles. Scroll down a little bit into radius and make sure that the default uh, radius survey is enabled with a checkbox right here and that the user that you created is uh, being presented on the radius users uh, portion of the, uh, of the screen. That means that you've done everything correctly and actually on the Unify side of things, we're done. We are ready to connect to the VPN to the VPN server from a remote machine. So in fact, let's go into a remote machine. I have a Windows device right here. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to right click on the network icon, open network and internet settings, go into VPN right here, and add a VPN connection. VPN provider Windows built in, connection name, let's call it Unify VPN. Now, if you have a dynamic IP address, sorry, a dynamic DNS uh, service, then that's great. You will not need to remember an IP address that might change the next day. Definitely use a dynamic DNS service. In this case, I don't have, but again, this is just a demonstration. So I, I will write down uh, the IP address uh, uh, of my server. Just for now, I'm going to type a bogus one. VPN type, change it to L2TP IPsec with pre-shared key and type your pre-shared key right here. Sign in info, username and password, and that's the place where you type your username and password that you've created and click on save. All right, we are not done yet, actually. Let's go on to, on to Ethernet and click on change advanced, sorry, change adapter options. This will open up the classic network connections window right here and click on the v Unify VPN and click on properties. And as you can see on the Unify knowledge base article, if you scroll down, they tell you that you need to go into the security tab and and check the Microsoft Chat version 2. All right, it's this step right here. This is what we're going to do next. So we're going to the security, allow these protocols, and make sure that this checkbox is checked. All right, click on OK. Now, in my case, if I try to connect now, I'm expecting that the connection will not go through and I'm connected but in many cases you will get uh, you will get an error right here by the way uh, I just remembered that I'm connected because I already implemented the registry tweak in my testing in any case I will disconnect and I will show you the registry tweak that you will need to add in case you're getting an error at this uh, at this point just click on start and start typing with your keyboard the word reg edit and it will give you the registry editor and you can open up a browser window and on your favorite search provider just search for, for Microsoft L2TP net that's all you need to search and the first result will take you to a Microsoft knowledge base article scroll down and this is exactly what you need to implement so you can by the way copy this registry path and paste it right here. And now you need to uh, create a new D word with this value. So let's go ahead and do that. And double click on it and change this value from zero to two. At this point, you will need to restart your virtual machine or your physical machine. I'm going to cut the recording right here and wait for the virtual machine to come to come back. All right, guys, so the virtual machine came back from the restart and let's try to connect to the VPN.
and I'm connected. Now, don't take this connection as a, let's say, a win situation. We need to also verify that we can at least, at least ping internal network resources. So let's open command prompt. And I have an access point on the Unify network in my remote location that I want to ping. Let's do a little bit IP config to see that this is my network, my IP on my local network right here. And this is the IP address that I got from the VPN connection. You see here, Unify VPN. So let's try to ping an internal res resources on that remote network. And as you can see, I am able to connect and ping from an internal network, from the internal network that I've connected into. This means I really have a connection, a real connection from my remote computer to that uh, off-site or remote network, which is great. By the way, by default, when you connect to, uh, with a VPN to the, uh, to the UDM or Unify device, now I, get, I got access to the entire network. If I have several VLANs over there, I've now just gotten access to every VLAN, every, resources on the, every, every resource on the network. And that's not really something that you might want uh, to happen. So you need to create firewall rules to define which resources or which VLANs VPN users can or cannot access. And this is something that I've already touched on on a previous remote user VPN I did a few months ago. So if you have reached this point, then that's great. You have a working VPN. Definitely go over to this video and I will put a link to it in the top right corner. And towards the end of the video, I'm demonstrating how I recommend managing firewall rules for remote access VPN users. Definitely give it a watch. It's only a few minutes. Definitely give it a watch. It will maximize your VPN security. Guys, I would like to thank you for uh, watching this video with me and I will see you all on my next video. In the meantime, you can go ahead and join our Unify uh, Facebook group and I will put a link to the group uh, in the description of the video. You're welcome to join, ask questions, get advices from the guys uh, uh, that are already, uh, that are also uh, Unify users and I, will, I hope to see you all there and join me on the next video. Bye guys, bye everyone.